Okay, so this is uh, October 7th, 2020. It's almost 10 a.m. Okay, so um, I put up on social media <clears throat> my um, Misra, M-Y-T-H-R-A. Uh, I mean, there's myth and then there's the Ra, which is the, we say it's ancient Egyptian, but here's the thing. The people that I have seen in ancient Egypt, or I'm sorry, in current Egypt, on the cartographer's map, on the, the Pomme de Terre, the people of the land, right? Great. The dry land people of this occurrence, of my appearance, they look very... I gave it a Leah. Uh, it's uh, spelled like... But see, then here's the thing. Then if you see her on a music video, shaking her... Stuff and half naked, like uh, the church people feel that God, being myself, an ancient goddess, having to do this and explain in broad public is I might as well be naked and dancing in front of the entire world, embarrassing myself. So, with that being said, the uh, woman, uh, Leah, is half naked dancing around, which upsets the very holy men in the east of if I'm in west and they're eastbound and I'm westbound which is still up for determination um, because it all depends on the church records since I'm Halicon I mean the goddess Isis she has the wings of a falcon of a hawk I mean these are words depending on where you live yeah so if that's being said I mean, the Rubicon is mine. It's M-E-I-N. It is M-I-N-E. I am Pharaoh. I am Pharaonic. I give Pharaonic and Phonic. Uh, the phone, the phone goes in the ear, yeah? Okay, great. Well, the phonetic goes in the eye. So when the eye and the ear is in the one position. It is not always in one position. But again, you are animatronics. I don't know what to tell you. Some of you are animatronic programmed by the celestial. And you are like wonderful. And you are stuck in your wonderful. Some of you are uh, pro programmed in the wrong astrology. And now you become an antanuchi, which is an antenna, and they, they push buttons somewhere in the world, and you change from face A to face B. And I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. And then you don't remember if I told you, like I said to Antonin, uh, Anthony, he came to me in, uh, okay, Anthony 1975 came to my face and said something in Russian. And I said, spasiba. And then I walked away. I come back to him, and then I say to him last night, in front of Louis, I had witnesses of crazy. I said, uh, Anthony, do you know, uh, did you ever hear the word spasiba? He goes, no. I go, you know what it means? He goes, no. I go, okay, thank you. And I look at Lou, and I'm like, da? I mean, he doesn't know what da means either. He thinks it means dad. So, uh, this is how I live amongst you crazy loons. And uh, you come to me with messages, sometimes Russian, sometimes German, sometimes Egyptian, sometimes the Holy Arabic. I can't place where, because you men get very angry in that territory, which I'm a fine with, as long as you are protecting me. But then you hear things from the venereal disease when they venipuncture, that I'm shaking my ass, and then you're like, wait a minute, <laughs> is that my Aaliyah? Or is that the real woman, Aaliyah? Right, well, my Aaliyah is a real woman, but her name is something different. I call her in my private chamber, Aaliyah, for what I need to do in life. But, right, and then you get angry at that, and then, whoa, it gets confusing in the linguistico department. Whoa, like, what's real, what's not real? Like, if, if there's an entertainment star celebrity in this American Spracha that is very confusing for the linguistico linguistico non-American flat, uh, do you get it? I mean, you have really mucked up the entire placement and purpose. 
Um, so I am the serpent goddess of things. I own the Rubicon and I own the Lexicon. I am the Rubicon embodiment. I step out of the membrane through into your realm of stupidity you call humanity. I am here as Uman child and I am to give birth to the lexicon in embodiment and in the membrane. So now, where are my help cells? I call them ladies, but that's because the lads with Vlad. I'm V and I have Vlad. He is the superior lad on the planet, male. That is the one that I then give birth to the lexicon with. He and I are both the Rubicon owner and the Rubicon embodiment and, and penetrated and punctured the membrane in order to be born. Da? Or this is in the Norwegian who always feels that I forget them. I said, listen, between the Nord and then the Zood and then the 12 and then the dirty, dirty South. And then which one is the dirty? I think that the humans are dirty South. I am sorry. I know there are holy men amongst the humans in the dirty South. But if I am in the stoop up, they're in the stoop IDs down and they're dirty, dirty South. I am sorry, but I watch half of them. They are naked when they walk around. They speak all sorts of spracha. They don't know what it, it coptically looks like. And then the pairing, and then it's like, wait a minute. Now you're viral. like, But viral like a venereal disease viral. And like, whoa, that's not what it was supposed to mean. You don't, where? Oh, boy. Right. So um, that's what living here is like. I hate it. I, I really, I have not found, I did meet, I call him the gnome. Here's the thing. I found a Warren Thompson, W-A-R-R-E-N-T-H-O-M-P-S-O-N. Now, he had a very high ember color in his eye. His mother looks English, but like traditional hobbit English uh, from like the movie. And then his father looks like he could have been a late, when I say late, descendant of a Korean that may have moved from a uh, archipelago, like he, he was a stowaway, and then they just bred him and 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 bred him, and bred him almost bred the Korean out of him. Right, that's what Warren Thompson looks like. That's what the gnome looks like for me as well. I think he goes by Michael Tanner. So, there's those that I really like around here. They don't bother me. In fact, I find them uh, quite endearing. But then there is the full traditional enemies of my state of affairs who have uh, penetrated my Rubicon and my Lexicon and my Celestial System. What they have done, I am the... I was the victim with Judith. Judith got the long horse face as a Leo, in and the she got the orb in the long ugly horse face. She looks like the Aaliyah uh, from the video, but white, so it looked off. And then she had the Brillo, the Brillo uh, hair. That's the kinky curly. It never unless you straighten it. But again, we're not black women, and we don't know people who know these things. So uh, she used to just put it back and, you know, towel dry, a bun, whatever. She knew she was, she had missions to do for her, her goddaughter, her real me, whatever, for Mithra. Um, so she did whatever she did quietly for me and I for her. So next time in the Rubicon lexicon, in the arthropod, I don't lose her. Because I've got... A, cosm a cosmology, uh, for this sense, they say the beauty of a woman is a cosmetic. Good. So Judy's cosmetic was supposed to look like Linda, que Linda, the third. I don't know what number Judy was in the ten. It doesn't matter. But Judy was born in the astrology of August 2nd. Uber important for Mithra and for the, the life programming on this planet to get things back together. So... Judy was in the orb, the embodiment, the outer shell, 
of cos- cos- cosmetic and non c'è bene, niente spasiva. Uh, however, uh, the sta bene was on the inside. And the uh, the astrology because it was August second, and she had the she had an orb. Um, she was um, she was in tune with what I needed. Uh, not too strong to upset other women that are strong, uh, louder than Judith. Judith could be angry, loud like myself, but then I'm like, I really don't want to be that. You like you go fight for me, like you know what I'm saying. But Judy, she would participate as as do I. Um, so then let's think about this. Um, and so Judith knew she was in the wrong body. I mean, she was didn't complain about it, but she was. I mean, she was smaller than a Soviet size. I will just tell you that. Um, and she did not have. I mean, she had. She comes from the Rainbow Eye family that goes all the way from yellow all the way up to uh, high green. If you look at her brother Bob Robert Gunder, uh, Bobby Gunder, he's got one hazel, and then he's got one green. I mean, whatever. Um, so that, uh, and that's his part of Gunther. Um, I mean, again, Mariah had 10 sh- kids in the shoe. They were comfortable shoes, but whatever. Um, they, but she was really poor. I mean, I meant it indicative of being poor, but I know you humans. I mean, if I say that she was like born in the basket in the middle of Egypt the desert with dirt all up to her neck. That's, uh, and not pay dirt either. Um, so let's think about this. All right. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where are we? Right. Oh, I was somewhere the other day. They said peachy pochi. I was like, oh my God, that's what Nonos used to say. Peachy pochi. Right. And I said, that goes with you to you to Mario Conduto, which is the cesspool man. You have to call the cesspool man to drain the cesspool because we are up to our eyeballs in the fecal matter with the self defecating society um, of human. Uh, let's think about this. All right. So that is where I am at at the meta update at the moment with Aaliyah. Oh, Aaliyah also has a, a one in a million. But again, that's a chameleon thing because Judith said, wait a minute, if she if that's my uh, star daughter's, um, you know, uh, name, if we're speaking Halicon, then uh, but it was tuned down for the one in a million and the uh, in I wouldn't guess in a million years. Right. Yeah. Well, apparently humans are that useful list that I had to guess a and find a million uh, the the man actually named a million one in a million is named a million great and how many years will it take for me to find and guess this one chameleon million in the New York State tri-state area right yeah I'll just trip over him like I do everything else oh, oh thanks really fucking useful human you are oh, I guess it by the way I found it myself um, let's think about this with the guiding light. Yeah, we tried to explain Rubicon in the, the human. All right. Uh, so anyway, so the ve- I call them uh, the oozing herpes sore uh, because to my eyes, when I look at the Korean and the Chinese everywhere, that's what they look like to me. There's so many of them and there are they are. The reason they're pushing the buttons because they think they're star people, which they are not. And they're fucking with the celestial, the cosmology, the, the genetic human beautiful, and the orb. The orb does not want to be stuck in an ugly. And that's what they are doing to my Norwegian, um, my whatever. So Judith and I were victims. So in my Rubicon and Lexicon that I own as an arthropod, we dedicated ourselves a um, a trial. What is it called? Where you like a where you a monologue, a soliloquy, uh, the whatever of just Judith and I uh, to document for ourselves and for my journey and because I mean I am the number one and I have to get back to Rubicon lexicon and fix and the membrane knows I've been spit out but I haven't been returned that's a problem for human 